Okay, so this is the 91 Isuzu pickup. And well, what happened was basically I had uh, thing was loading up. It had uh, it run. You know, it would accelerate just fine, but then at the stop signs it'd load up and. I could tell it was getting too much fuel. And so I had all these, I had an HHO system on it. It was actually pulling some of the exhaust fumes into the HHO system for a while. And I tried to figure out what the problem was. I couldn't, I didn't know exactly what the problem was. So I changed the plugs, points, whatever plugs cap rotor check the wires still didn't find the problem it kept loading up and uh, so what we did basically we pulled this little cover off here on the carburetor ran some compressed air through it a little bit and some carburetor cleaning through it and then readjusted the float and now it seems to work fine I'm not sure if I'm going to put my HHO stuff back on it. Yeah, actually, before that, I even put the custom air filter on it so that it would get more airflow. But that still didn't help it. And then I've actually got this magnet on here to help the uh, magnetize the fuel. They used to sell these at Harbor Freight. I haven't seen them there for a while. And so, uh, yeah, that was, it kept me guessing there quite a while. It'd load up at the stop sign, run fine down the highway, accelerating. But, uh, had me guessing for a while. I took it to a uh, shop downtown. Automotive Solutions is the shop name, and they're they're real good over there. So uh, he basically worked like two hours on my carburetor to get it going right, and it's only like a hundred bucks or so. And so what I'm doing now is I'm going to put another radiator hose on. This radiator hose I got at the through the Rock Auto website. As you can see, it's not exactly the same. And so, it's like the mid-grade. And you'll find that if you order some of these hoses, they may not be perfectly the same as your old hose. And so, Another one I got was just like way off. So basically, the hose was only like seven or eight bucks. So I just told them that, uh, well, they just said, well, do you want to just, we'll give you half credit and you just do whatever you want with the old hose. So I did that. It was a little tricky at first, but yeah, we, we dealt with it. So what happens is you can see that this hose here has got sort of a bulge on it. When they start to bulge out, particularly when they get hot, when they bulge out like that, and basically it's time to get a new one. These things have these, these threads in here that sort of hold the integrity of it. And when those threads kind of get stretched out too far, then the hose is probably not safe to continue using. So, I'm putting a new hose on this one. This one's, you can feel the difference. This one's a little more rubbery. This one's a little stiffer. And so, wouldn't want to blow this hose out so even though it looks sort of perfectly good except for that bulge I'm just swap that out right now. 
Well, thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me at Mr. Maintain at hotmail.com 707-445-1591. Pacific Time.